Hello students, Michael Sanchez here with Kyle. Kyle, we have a question about how do you know the difference between a major and a minor key, right? Yeah. So we just were showing the finger finder tool and it was showing that, you know, a major and a minor key have the exact same finger placements, right? So how do you know in a song if it's minor or major? Is that what you're saying? Right. So, and I was saying to Kyle earlier that it's all about the way the song sounds. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I was to play a piece, I'm going to play Farrah Jaca. This is in D major. It sounded happy, right? Okay. But now if I change that into um, G minor, which is going to be two flats, now it's going to sound different. I'm sorry, that's D minor, not G minor. But did you notice the difference there? Yeah. How it sounded more like kind of sad? Compared to... All I did was change one note and it made it sound that way. So when you start playing a piece and it starts to sound that way, kind of real sad, real mellow, um, then it's in a minor key. But what's important is that you don't really have to know if it's a major or minor key. You just play, just use the rules of the key signature and play it. But yeah, it's nice to know if, yeah, if I'm playing in D major or D minor, but it's not necessary necessarily to play a piece. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you, D major and D minor, you said they had the same finger placements, but you moved one in that. D major actually has one flat. Okay. Whereas D, did I say D major has one flat? Yeah. D minor has one flat. Okay. And D major has two sharps. So they have totally different note placements. And, but they both have the two number signs. How would you tell? Which no, D major would have two sharps. We have our finger finder around here. Sorry. There it is. D major has two sharps. And then if we find D minor, has one flat. Okay, so D major and B minor then are going to sound the same, exactly the same. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So if you were to play a piece that had two sharps in it, you're not going to know right away when you first start the piece if it's in B minor or D major. Okay. You're only going to know when you start to play it. But technically it doesn't matter because they're the exact same finger placements. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for watching and hope to explain more about music theory. Uh, visit my website, violintutorpro.com. Hope you guys have a good day.